All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue uh, by factoring uh, quad quadratics and specifically trinomials. But here are some more difficult problems that we can do uh, involving that. So let's take a look at number 12 first. Uh, let's go ahead and make my x factor chart. Again, we need the number that we're going to multiply on top and the number that we're going to add go on the bottom. And the way we get the number on top is by multiplying a times c. So in this case, negative 2 times positive 3 equals negative 6. And the number that goes on the bottom is b, or in this case, positive 5. So we need two numbers that will multiply to give us negative 6 and add to give us positive 5. So if I'm thinking about it correctly, again, let's try 6 and negative 1. Because 6 times negative 1 will give us negative 6, but 6 plus negative 1 equals 5. So what I'm going to do is I use the 6 and the negative 1, and I replace the 5h with 6h and negative 1h. So I'm going to have 2h squared plus 6h minus 1h plus 3. So all I did was change the original trinomial into a quadnomial, or four terms. And now that I have four terms, let's make them into two different groups. I'm going to group the first two terms together and then the second two terms together. And then I find the GCF of each parenthesis. So looking at the first parenthesis, I have 2 and 6. I think 2 is the greatest common factor of both. And the other thing to be careful of on this problem, we always want the variable to be positive. Okay, we always want the variable that we leave behind to be positive. So I'm going to not just pull out a 2, but a negative 2. And I see that there's an h squared and an h. I can pull out an h from both of those as well. Mr. Schlott, please so when I pull out a negative 2h, I'm going to get that. And then what's left over is h minus 3. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing over to my second parenthesis. I have negative 1 plus 3. So the only factor I can pull out is a 1. But again, I want the h to be positive, so I pull out a negative 1. So I pull out a negative 1. I'm left with h minus 3. All right, and the goal is we need our parentheses to match, and they do h plus 3, so we write that once down below. And then we take our leftovers, negative 2h and negative 1, and we put those in another parenthesis. All right, let's quickly do one more example while we're here. All right, we have our x-factor chart. We're doing number 15. Again, how we get the number on top, multiply 4 times 5, which is 20, and we take the middle number 9. All right, and when we take those two numbers, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give me 20 and add to give me 9, and 5 and 4, I think, will do that. All right, so we split 9m into 5m plus 4m. So 4m squared plus 4m plus 5m plus 5. So when I go ahead and I need to group these two different terms, so the first two terms and the last two terms, and find the GCF. The first GCF of the first parenthesis is 4m, because 4 and 4, the greatest common factor is itself, 4. And then each term has an m to give, so I'll take out an m, and I'm left with m plus 1. In the second set of parentheses, I could take a 5 out of both, and then I'm left with m plus 1. Perfect. So the parentheses match, m plus 1, so I only need to write it once down below. And then the leftovers go in my other parentheses, 4m plus 5. So there is a good example of how to factor trinomials.